Hi everyone. I wasn't going to do this today, but since all of the components are here, I'm going to go ahead and make a video and show you how to make grinding bats for when you want to smooth the bottoms of your mugs or bowls or whatever. And for those times when you might get a drip and um, makes it a little bit easier to get it off the bottom. So what you're going to need is you're going to need um, diamond grinding discs, which you can buy on Amazon. These are eight inch and they were 38 a piece. Kind of expensive, but not as expensive as buying the already made grinding bats that you can find at ceramic places online. Um, and then just like um, the ones that you can buy online, I bought three speedball bats and JB Weld, and this is plastic bonding. Okay, so it's for specifically for metal and plastic, metal to metal, or metal to plastic, plastic to plastic, etc. Okay, so though this all comes in one tube, you squirt it out. You mix it up, you spread it on the um, items you're bonding, and then you're good to go. The other tool you're gonna need, and I just put it up here, is a compass. And I just put a washable fiddlestick or Mr. Sketch marker on the end of it. And it's I'm gonna measure out um, an eight inch circle on my bats so that I don't have to worry about centering the discs and so let's get started step one clean the surfaces so I have a wet sponge and I'm going to clean the bats although they've never been used and the backs of the discs on the instructions for the glue it suggests rough roughing up the surface um, so I'm just going to take a little bit of sandpaper and actually before they do, I do that, I'm going to go ahead and draw the circles because, um, I only want to sand in the areas where there is where I'm going to glue. So I'm going to go ahead and put my compass on my ruler, take it to four since I'm doing eight. Got it and I know it's hard to see. I'm going to put my point right in the middle, which is easy on these bats because there is a dot in the middle, which I like, and draw my circles. Okay. Very light, but at least I know where to put my disc. Then I'm going to take my sanding paper one without clay dust on it <laughs> and rough up the middle. It shouldn't take too much. I'm probably going to wipe it down again after I do this. And I'm just mostly getting inside the, the green circle that I do. do anything with the metal because the whole purpose of making these discs is I don't really have anything I mean I have some sandpaper wet dry sandpaper that I could use on the metal but I don't think it's going to need it if it does I'll find out and I'll let you know <laughs> okay let that dry a little bit okay in the meantime while that's drying I need to open my JB Weld. And it comes with a resealable lid, so you know you don't have to do the whole thing all at one time if you don't want to. Let's see if I know how to get it off. Oh, turn and pull. Pretty easy. Alright, and one more tool, I suppose. Um let's see what I have that I don't mind ruining. 
Well, it comes with a little craft stick to mix it up. It's so tiny, okay? Um, and it suggests mixing it on a di disposable something, so I'm gonna see how it goes on the wrappers that came with the discs. Uh, you're supposed to scoot, uh, squirt some out and then mix it up and then put it on the surface that you're gluing. And I'm gonna use this fettling knife because I never use it for anything else. I have a sharp one that I use. This one just rarely gets used. So I think I can spread it with that. Thank goodness for work clothes, right? All right, let's give it a try. Um, I'm using this. It's kind of hard to see and I don't have a the right stand. Ooh, all right, here it goes. So it gives you the perfect mixture, better than some of those epoxies where you have to figure it all out on your own. But you do, it does come out, you can see the two different colors. So you mix it until, until it's all one color. And hopefully I got enough. And I'm gonna put it, slobber it on the middle of this. Try to get it even. Hopefully I mixed enough. If not, I have a few minutes before it dries. Nope, not quite enough. I think it says 15 minutes before it set. So you have some wiggle room to adjust where you want it on the, on the bat. And, um, and then it'll set and you're supposed to leave it for like 24 hours before you use it. Here we go. This should be plenty. So if you have a putty knife or plastic putty knife that you don't mind throwing away, that would probably be good. And I'm going to get it right out to the edge. Because I don't want water to be able to get up under it because it's gonna definitely be exposed to a lot of water. Because I plan on using it with water to make the bottoms of those pots perfectly smooth. I should be wearing gloves. Oh well. It's not my, like my hands ever look like I have a perfect manicure anyway. <laughs> not when you're a potter, right? Okay. And I think I can scrape off any excess, so let's see. All right. Have it in the middle. It's as even as I can get it. Have a disc. I'm gonna try not to get any of the glue on the disc. And I'm lining it up in the middle. And you're gonna press it down. If it's not perfectly in the middle, does it really matter? Unless you have a pot that with a bottom that big, I don't think it's gonna matter. And chances are. Pots that big hopefully won't have many drips. I hope to not have any drips anymore ever again, but you just never know. Okay, so it needs 15 minutes before it is set, but that is my disc, and I will continue with a demonstration after all three are finished, and um, I'll show it on the wheel. All right. Thanks for watching.